Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So as you can see, I have already um, primed my face. I have the Tasha Canvas Primer on. I have moisturizer on my face. I did my eyebrows. I did my eyeshadow. I used the, um, the Jackie Anna with her collaboration with ABH. That's credit in my crease, which I'm going to put some more credit in my crease to darken it up a little bit. And I have the Natasha Denonia I, uh, Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette on my lids, on my eyelid. Um, again, I just want to tell people behind every, I want to tell you all, behind every great foundation, every great foundation, it has to be a great skin care routine. And I'll keep emphasizing that you have to incorporate a good skin care routine. If not, the makeup will not apply well. I don't care what the foundation is. I don't care who it's made by, what the ingredients in is. You have to have a great skin care routine. Now I'm going to, as I told you before, I went to Sephora and I did buy, I did not buy, I, I bought the Charlotte Airbrush flawless foundation but i still went and got samples of it and i still have these samples so i would like to use them so again i'm in the shade 15 warm that i use which is not my shade um i will show you in a minute that this is not my shade um i'm gonna just use a little bit see that's not my shade I do think i'm a shade 14 warm however i do have to mix it a little bit so when I do mix 14 warm and 15 warm, I do get a, the correct shade that I'm looking for, my desired shade. So this is 14 warm. I'm going to use the Real Technique brush. I love this brush. It's like one of these. It's great to apply foundation. You know, it's stiff. So... This is amazing. Mm. I'm going to use ColourPop to conceal. I'm going to use it in, I have the shade Dark 42. Again, this is ColourPop Concealer. And in the shade Dark 42, I'm just, I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at myself. So I'm just going to pop, 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 and then drag it. That's what I do. So it gives it like this rain effect. Okay. Pop, 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 and then drag it. So now I'm going to use my blending brush. It's just a little bit dirty, but it's okay. It's my skin. Okay, now that we have the concealer on, I'm just going to do the hard edges, harsh lines looks nice doesn't it it really looks nice looks nice looks nice looks nice looks nice okay so now i'm gonna use my l'oreal mercy a mercier setting powder and translucent it's to set everywhere where i highlight it everywhere where i apply concealer while i have this setting powder on I'm gonna use the Charlotte Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm in the shade, uh, what shade is this? I'm in the shade three, that's the darkest shade, okay? This powder looks like this. It looks light, but it's actually not that light. I'm gonna use my Real Technique brush to just set where, where all I applied, applied my foundation. I'm also going to use a little bit of that powder to also wipe away my underneath my eyes where all I set my face using the setting powder. I'm going to remove that also. Now that I've finished with setting my face, I think it looks okay. My eyes coming out looking pretty good. I think I'm looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown bronzer. I love this bronzer. 
Uh, I tell you, I love it. So you see, I'm already hitting pan almost. I'm in deep four. I'm going to use my Morphe E4 brush, which will look something like this. And I'm going to just uh, dab it in there. And I'm going to apply this to my, give me a little bit cheap sculpt. Sculpt the cheek out a little bit. Okay, I think I look great. I think I look great. Okay, it's coming along pretty good. Coming along pretty, pretty, pretty good. And now that we have the bronzer on and we highlighted and we did all of that, I'm going to line this wig. It's looking a hot mess. Do not drag me for my wig. What? I'm going to use some MAC um, blush to my cheek. And remember what I said, I'm looking at you, but I got to look at myself because I got to find out um, where I'm applying this. I'm the kind of girl, I, I told y'all before, I don't really like to use um, eyelashes. I use them once in a while. I'm not an eyelash girl. I know how to apply them. I know how to put them on, but I'm not an eyelash person. I use them once in a blue moon. I love my lashes. So I'm going to apply a little bit of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelashes just to fluff them out just a little bit. Okay? Just bear with me. I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at that. I love this applicator. Look at it. I love it. <laughs> we are at the end of this video. I'm going to leave my little pink lips. I think I did a fabulous job. I'm going to uh, wrap this video up and um, also say to you that, like I said, incorporate a good skincare regimen into your routine. It's important to have a great skin regimen. It's also important to have um, great products. So it doesn't matter the cost, if it's expensive or it's inexpensive, find out what works for your skin. It doesn't matter whether it's drugstore or whether you go to Sephora's Ulta Mac. It doesn't matter where you get your products from. Just, again, let's incorporate a good skincare regimen into your daily regimen. Um, incorporate a good skincare routine. That's what I want to say. Um, make sure that you do have a great skincare routine. I keep emphasizing that because behind every great foundation, it has to be a great skincare routine. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, I think I did a great job. Um, I'm probably going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury Air, uh, Lipstick and Nude. Um, and I'm gonna use MAC Lip Liner and Chestnut to line my lip. But again, that's probably what I put on. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear today, so I definitely have to wait till I find out what I'm gonna put on today before I apply my lipstick. I don't wanna look too colorful. So again, thank you for being a part of me, uh, my channel. Thank you for uh, those who subscribe and those who like me, those who don't, I thank you anyway. But let's like, let's subscribe, let's comment, and let's hit that notification button. So therefore, you'll know when I'm uploading new videos. Again, thank you. Let's make it do what it do.